Hi there! In this video we're going to talk about translating word problems into math problems or basically I like to think of it as translating some English into math. So why is this important? Well in real life we're not just given equations. Um, we actually have problems that have words in them and we have to translate it or kind of decode it into math symbols. So in this lesson, we're gonna learn about these key words that identify the operations like add, subtract, multiply, divide, and decode them into a math expression or a math equation. So I have made this chart for you to kind of help organize and pick out all of the key words so that you can use those to help decode the English into math. Um, a couple things I just want to point out. So here on this subtraction one and the division one, the order which you write things matter. So that's why on the subtraction one, you'll see where it has first number minus second number and second number minus first number. We'll talk about that. And division um, I wrote on here first divided by second because all of the words that they have here, when they use these words, you just want to take the first number and then divide it by the second number. So we'll do an example with that too. Um, okay, let's get started. And we'll use this chart to help us. So translate the phrase into an expression. Eight more than a number X. So I want to look and see if I can find a more than so more than here is right here, which tells me that this is represented by addition. So I'm gonna write eight more than, we know means plus, and a number x, I literally just write it x like this. And this is my answer, that's it. Okay. Half of a number m. All right, so of, is my keyword right here. So if I come to look for of, of is right here. Of means multiplication. So I'm gonna write half of means multiplying. I'm just gonna put parentheses, a number m. So that means it's really just a one half m. Final answer. Okay, next one. The difference, that's the key word, of seven and a number n. So I know in here it looks like I have difference and of. When I have difference, you, they have to tell me what my difference is. So they're gonna use, it's like difference of is kind of like combined together. The difference of my numbers. So I come up here, difference is represented by subtraction. And you'll notice that it's in the part that's under this first number minus second number. So that means whatever number comes first, even if it's the variable, that's the thing that you write first. So this means I'm gonna subtract, this is my first number and this is my second number. So I'm gonna go first is seven minus, my second is my actual variable, n, like this. Now, if it happened to be, let's just say it was less than, okay? If it was less than, then I would do second minus first. So let's just say, and this is just, if this problem was written with less than, it would be n minus seven. You would write it the second number, what comes second, minus the first part. Just so that you can understand what I mean by first minus second and second minus first. Okay, and here's an example with less than. So nine less than twice a number y. Okay, so less than we know, we just talked about it, means subtraction right up here. And this one is second number minus first number. So this one's a little bit trickier because we're talking about, so here's this part right here. This is easy to decode because it's just a number. Nine less than means I'm gonna be using subtraction I need to write twice a number y. So twice means is the number two, and twice a number y means I'm actually multiplying those together. 
So this is my first and this is my second. When I'm using less than, less than means I have to take my second minus first. So this is going to become really 2y minus 9. Okay. Last but not least, I added this new quantity. We didn't talk about that in the beginning, but you'll notice in here, up here, the quantity means parentheses. It's talking about a group of something. <clears throat> All right, so we talked about quantity and now we're looking at divided by. When I see divided by, that's pretty self-explanatory. Divided by means I'm gonna divide. And when we're doing division, we always wanna do the first part divided by the second part. So we have to figure out what the first part and what the second part are. So this is my first part, 50. And then the quantity, my second part is going to be this quantity, eight more than a number W. So here more than, if I come back up here, more than, we've used that before, more than means I'm adding. So eight more than a number, so eight more than is adding a number W. This is my second part. So what I'm dividing is my first 50 divided by my second part, eight plus W. I know it can be a little bit tricky um, to kind of decode when there's more than one key word happening. So in this one, we had three, we had divided by the quantity and more than. Um, and another tip I can give you is when you're trying to do these kinds of problems, if they seem really overwhelming, pick simple numbers, like literally zero, one, two, three, and figure out what it would be um, with those numbers and then kind of translate it into the harder stuff that they give you. Um, if you have any questions, let me know and good luck with everything.